Well, the Winter Olympics begin this week in Minnesota and sending 19 athletes, the second most of any state. Mm -hmm. And none of them has more Olympic experience than the leader of the U.S. men's curling team. WCCO's David McCoy spent a day with him in Duluth as he sets his sights on Sochi. On another chilly morning in Duluth, as the clouds roll in and the city wakes up, John Schuster is hoping his eight-month-old son, Luke, is ready for some sleep. Every day, kind of, you know, late morning is it's time for his late morning nap. I toss him in the car seat and head down to the club and hope he has a long nap. <laughs> That's when the stay-at-home dad walks into his second home, his sanctuary. There's church, and this is like church 1A for me. <laughs> Turns on the lights. And usually I'm the first person here. He gets to work on his own dreams for as long as his little companion will allow. Some days I get, you know, 15 rocks in, and some days, you know, he nap, naps long enough for me to throw, you know, 50 or 75. So throw a couple rocks and look to see if he's still sleeping. <laughs> Schuster has honed this skill over and over and over and over over the last four years in preparation for Sochi. I mean, you said it like we're you're honing, right? But it, for me, it's it's literally just sharpening. It's like going to the range, you know, if you're a golfer. Make sure that, that things are all working the way I want them to work. Have you ever thrown darts and you, you're doing that finite thing when you're letting go of a curling shot? For me, it's like, th it is kind of like throwing darts. This will be Schuster's third Olympics. After a bronze in 2006 as a front end guy, Schuster realized his lifelong goal in 2010, leading his own team. Followed off by a really awful ending. He struggled, was benched, and took last place. Couldn't have gone worse. You know, after it all went bad, kind of had a moment where you got to sit back and and decide whether it's something I want to keep doing because it was so bad. Like I mean, it blew up so big. <laughs> Four years later, the decision seems almost obvious now. You could call 2014 a chance at redemption, but Schuster doesn't see it that way. A young girl the other day didn't tell me good luck. She told me to have fun, and uh, it really put into perspective that you know how lucky we are to to be able to do this kind of stuff. Hi. It's far from the only thing he feels lucky about these days. Come here. Come on. Amazing how your perspective on something as big as the Olympics. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi. Hi. Did you have a good nap? Can be changed by something so small. It's not life and death to know when you're curling. Curling, it's time to get to come home to this guy. Did you have a good nap, buddy? Mwah. Oh, Schuster grew up in Chisholm. He didn't start curling until he was 15. His first big win was the 1999 state high school championship only two years later.